Hello friends, this is Adam Shoemaker, the rector here at St. Stephen's Episcopal Church in Charleston, wanting to update you on where things stand in light of the coronavirus. Uh, the clergy and vestry here are very much in agreement that the best way that we can embody the love of God, care for one another, as well as for our neighbor, especially our neighbors in need, our most vulnerable community members, is to suspend worship services at this time. We've also made the decision to close the office during the week to anyone who is not a member of our staff. But please know that our office phones will be checked regularly if you wanna call in or leave a message. Uh, also know that you can um, always send us uh, an email. During this time in which we are called to observe social distancing, I wanna remind you uh, as your priest that we are never called to practice spiritual distancing and that this is an opportunity for us to think about how we can continue to be the church we're called to be in new and creative ways. And I'd like to spend a few minutes talking to you about what the rhythm, rhythm of our life uh, can look like over the coming days. Uh, beginning tomorrow, uh, beginning tomorrow, we'll be offering a noonday prayer electronically. Reverend Courtney, our assistant priest, will be offering a children's story uh, and an evening prayer at 6 p.m. And at 7 p.m., uh, we'll be offering a Compline, which is really the good night prayer of the church from the Book of Common Prayer. That will be uh, every day during the week starting tomorrow. And then on Sunday mornings, we'll be here in this space uh, to offer a service of morning prayer with music and a sermon that will be uploaded by 8 a.m. And all of these electronic offerings will be uploaded to our YouTube channel, to our Facebook page, and to our website, www.ststephenscharleston.org. We also, during this time, want to make sure that we are checking in with one another so that no one falls through the cracks. And so this week, uh, your clergy, myself, our assistant priest, Reverend Courtney, uh, and Deacon Greg, uh, we'll be dividing up our roles to call in uh, and speak with all of our members. And then after this week, uh, we would like to create phone trees uh, where folks can um, check in together uh, as we move forward from this place. Uh, our hope is that this is just the beginning of how we can continue to be uh, the beloved community that we are called to be. Know that in the coming days and weeks, we will remain in contact with you through all parish emails, uh, on our website and our social media platforms. So please look out for those things. Please, though, keep at the forefront of your prayers uh, those impacted by the coronavirus, those who are infected by this virus, and those working to address it. Doctors, nurses, hospitals, not only in this country, but all over the world. And keep the most vulnerable amongst us uh, in your mind and heart as well. May God bless you, uh, your family, and all those you love now and always.